Since the 1960s, there have been tremendous improvements in aircraft fuel consumption and noise levels. The latest aircraft use 70% less fuel and have reduced perceived noise by 75%. European goals for 2020 are to reduce fuel consumption and noise levels by a further 50%. That's quite a jump. On the engine side, one of the most promising ideas is the open rotor. Although it's more economical than the jet engine, it is unfortunately noisier and optimum at lower speeds. But what's the use of going fast if it just means circling around airports for longer? For short-haul flights, the loss in speed could be made up by improving navigation techniques and traffic management, with the bonus of lower fuel consumption thrown in. As for noise levels, Airbus is considering masking engine noise by fitting them above the aircraft's tailplane. For long-haul flights, only the biggest aircraft using state-of-the-art technology can lower fuel consumption per passenger and ease air traffic congestion at the same time. In this area, the A380 is the ultimate aircraft. Unless you completely change the concept, Airbus engineers are already working on it. NACRE is a joint project, partly funded by the European Commission, in which Airbus manages some 36 industrial research and university partners. Together, we work on new aircraft concepts, projects that develop breakthrough technologies. We've carried out a vast amount of computer simulations, and NACRA enables us to continue this work right through to the real test to validate our digital models. We now have the results of a real-life test where real people simulated cabin passenger behavior, up to 400 passengers for part of the flying wing cabin tests where we validated our passenger cabin evacuation procedure model. We are validating our concepts as well as our technological components and we'll persevere with the Clean Sky project. It's a fantastic European research and technology opportunity. While meeting its goals to reduce fuel consumption and noise levels, Airbus will continue to offer passengers ever more comfort and safety inside real cruise liners in the sky. Of course, humans will still want to be flying around the world in 2020. Only a technological leap forward will allow them to do so in harmony with their planet.